In this problem, we're told a 1,000 kilogram car is moving at 15 kilometers per hour. If a 2,000 kilogram truck has 18 times the kinetic energy of the car, how fast is the truck moving? So in order to solve this problem, basically you need to know the formula for kinetic energy. We can just call it K in this case is equal to 1 half mv squared. So if we want to find, right, so we have this car, right, we know the mass of it. We know it's moving at 15 uh, kilometers per hour. And so we have this other thing, which is 18 times the kinetic energy of it. And then basically what we're going to do is find the kinetic energy of the first car, multiply it by 18, and then that's going to allow us to solve for V. So let's just start by finding the kinetic energy of this car. So kinetic energy equals 1 half times the mass of the first car, which we know is 1,000, times its velocity squared, so 15 squared. So you want to do 0 0.5 times 1,000 times 15 squared. And you're going to find the kinetic energy of the first car is 1,100, 200, or 1,000, or sorry, 112,500. And so keep in mind, this is always in joules. But yeah. And so we know the kinetic energy of the other car, which formula is 1 half mv squared. We know the kinetic energy of this car, right, which is this one, the 2,000 kilogram, is going to have 18 times the kinetic energy of this one. So if we multiply this by 18, that's going to give us the kinetic energy of this one, right, this car, basically. So if you multiply by 18, you get uh, 2025000. Zero, 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 zero. So this is going to be equal to 1 half mv squared. So if we want to find the velocity, we also need the mass. And they tell us the mass of our second car is 2,000. So if we plug in 2,000 times v squared, keep in mind this is just going to become 1,000. So solving for v, you just divide both sides by 1,000. And then you're going to take the square root to get rid of this. So basically, your answer is going to be the square root of 2025000 divided by 1,000. So go ahead and plug this in. And when you do that, you're going to find V equals 45. So 45, and then our units for velocity in this case was kilometers per hour. So 45 kilometers per hour, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. So C, yeah, so C is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.